Well, this is a $70 million 10-year program sponsored by Qatar Petroleum, Shell and Qatar Science and Technology Park to understand how to store CO2 in carbonate reservoirs, which are much less understood than the more common sandstone reservoirs of the North Sea and the Gulf of Mexico in terms of storage. Here we are in the multi-scale imaging laboratories, which is part of the Qatar Carbonates and Carbon Storage Research Centre. In this research centre, we're working with the Qatar Science and Technology Park, Qatar Petroleum and Shell to understand what happens when you inject carbon dioxide deep underground into saline aquifers. And we're doing this as part of our efforts to mitigate climate change. These deep aquifers are in porous rock and they're carbonate rocks. They're the same rocks that contain much of the world's oil and gas. And to date, they haven't been terribly well characterised, and we certainly don't understand fully what would happen when CO2 is injected. So this laboratory is unique in the world. It is designed to look at fluid flow in carbonate rocks at a variety of scales. Behind me, I have a state-of-the-art X-ray micro CT scanner. And what this does is it beams X-rays through a small piece of rock and it enables us to look at the pores at the micron scale, at the sub-millimeter scale, at the microscopic scale. And then we can characterize the structure of the rocks and we can look at fluid flow within those rocks. And the physics of what happens, how the CO2 moves, how is it trapped, how we can design safe storage is all determined at this tiny length scale. We then move up in scale to look at what happens over centimetres to metres because this gives us the average behaviour and from that we can put that average behaviour in our numerical models to predict what will happen on the kilometre scale when we inject millions of tonnes of CO2. But the story starts at the micron level and it starts with this wonderful instrument behind me that will enable us for the first time to visualise what happens. We're really interested in injecting millions of tonnes of carbon dioxide into carbonate rocks deep underneath Qatar. What you see in the laboratory behind me is an X-ray CT scanner, which is no different than the medical CT scanners you see in hospitals today. And we can use this scanner to take images of rocks at larger scales to understand where the carbon dioxide is going to go when we inject it deep underground. This new laboratory is a state-of-the-art facility that's using X-ray tomography to look inside the rock and to see from the pore scale right up to the core scale how the CO2 is stored and where it goes to and how it's trapped and uh, is really at the cutting edge of science and technology in this field.